I'm Nami. Welcome to Mike and Nami Plus. Today I'm gonna do my six month pregnancy update. I'm currently 24 weeks pregnant and six days. So I'm actually almost six months and one week pregnant. Your baby is nearly as long as an ear of corn. That's really big. I wrote a list of stuff that I wanted to talk about. So belly rashes. I got these weird mysterious belly rashes that went kind of up to my shoulders and a little bit on my upper arms and a little bit on my upper thighs, but mostly concentrated on my belly. I did like an exclusive video on it, talking to my family doctor about it and stuff, but I haven't gotten test results yet. So we'll probably get the test results on our next month. If it had anything to do with my liver and if there was an issue with my liver, it wasn't an infection or anything. So that's good because some infections can actually cause birth defects. I'll show you my belly as we're talking about belly. I'm wearing my sister's pregnancy pants. They're really huge. I'm also wearing our Nacho Fam merch on top of this this nice, uh, I don't know what it's called, lace lace long sleeve. But um, I just wanted to wear Nacho Fam on top. Baby is sporting Nacho Fam today. Under bust is 30, 33.5. Waist, 32.5. Belly button, 35.5. Hips, 36.5. I don't know how much I actually grew, but anyway, those are my measurements. <laughs> Baby hiccups. So I think I've started to feel a little bit of hiccuping from the baby. And with Galahad and Zeke, they did both have hiccuping, but Galahad had like hiccuping like twice a day. Zeke's hiccups weren't as frequent. This baby's hiccups are like barely there yet. I have a feeling that hiccuping as a fetus kind of indicates the frequency that they'll have trouble burping because Zeke didn't have any trouble burping, but he didn't hiccup as much as Galahad did in my belly. And Galahad's burps were always hard to induce, right? Mm. So hopefully this means that this baby will be like good at burping because burping a baby is like really hard. You have to try to get the air out so that they can digest the milk. But I've been feeling like a little bit of hiccuping plus like a lot of movement. She always dances in here and like moves around. She doesn't kick very hard, but I do feel her like jiggling like this. I always find that she moves a lot at night right before I'm about to go to bed I lie down and then suddenly she like starts going crazy. So I'm getting winded heat flashes Michael said I should include it in this update because this last month I kept getting these heat flashes where you like suddenly your body is so restless and you feel like you're burning from inside and then your whole body gets like prickly and like annoying and you just have to like take off all your blankets take off all your clothes and lie on the floor <laughs> And I've never had heat flashes before, but Michael gets them very often. So we were like, oh, I'm getting a heat flash. <laughs> it was like a revelation because I never got heat flashes before, but it's interesting that I'm getting them during this pregnancy. I did search online and I found that heat flashes are not uncommon in pregnancy. Some people do get them like quite a lot. So it was just kind of weird. I was like, why? Maybe it's my body type. Maybe. Maybe she has your body type and my body's telling me that it's too hot for her. So then it's giving me a heat flash. Mm. It's interesting. I don't know. Cravings. I started having cravings finally this month. Six months later, I'm having cravings. I heard that for Galahad and Zeke, usually I had cravings like in the beginning of the pregnancy. But this pregnancy, I was so sick for like half of the pregnancy that I'm finally getting my cravings now. I've been really craving like tangy things. It was kind of the same with Zeke, but like I really want like really, really sour stuff. Like sour plum, pickled plum onigiri. I was craving that earlier. That's pretty much the only craving that I had. But I'm excited because like I didn't have a craving this whole pregnancy. So hooray. Yeah, as you can see, I'm like really out of breath. I'm starting to get like more and more out of breath. My hips started dislocating. So this happened in with my other pregnancies as well. When a woman becomes pregnant, the ligaments in your joints, which are like soft membrane between your bone, they loosen because your body is getting ready to give birth. And while you give birth, your hips need to make space to push the baby out. Then your bones need to be separated and stretched. And so the ligaments in between the bones get loose so that it can stretch. And I learned this from my chiropractor factor because he was telling me when your body has given birth your body is recovering from labor it takes six months for your ligaments to retighten from the loosingness of the pregnancy hormones so if you don't take care of your body during that time you can end up with like back pain hip pain because you strained those joints when your ligaments were loose that happened to me the first time after Galahad pregnancy I was like really straining my back I had 
back pain for like three years and then when I got pregnant with Zeke my chiropractor told me be careful this time when you recover don't strain your joints don't strain your ligaments so I took a lot of good care not to strain myself and then my back pain went away but then now six months five months six months pregnant this time I'm starting to feel the same back pain and the same hip pain it's because my ligaments are loosening again so I just have to go see my masseuse see my chiropractor again so that I make sure that things are like proper until the baby's born and also a little bit after the baby's born and then make sure that I don't strain my ligaments while they're in their loose state. I started feeling like really bad hip pain. Like if I lean a certain way, then like my hips will give in because like I'll be like, ow, because there'd be this sharp pain. Yeah, I've also been experiencing frequent urination because my bladder is being squashified and I've been having to go to the washroom like every two hours or something crazy. So that's just gonna get more frequent because the baby's just kind of keep getting bigger. My pregnancy app told me that this month, my uterus is the size of a soccer ball, but it really doesn't look that big, right? It doesn't look like soccer ball can be in here. Right? Like then where's the space for my intestines? You know what I mean? Oh, I also wanted to talk about name reveal because this is something that's like continually asked if we have name ideas or baby names in mind or when we're gonna reveal the baby's name or like what we're thinking of in terms of names. For the actual baby's name, we will be revealing it after the baby's born just because we wanna be sure and certain that that's the name that we're gonna name her. With Galahad, we waited for his Korean name until we actually saw him and then we decided, okay, yeah, like this is the one that we feel like is his name so that's pretty much it for this update if you have any questions or things that you want us to discuss for the next update or like other things like the baby name stuff or other topic that like michael and i can sit down and talk about then please leave them down below and we'll see you in the next video bye